key project with an oyster that I'm working on is actually the beam job modification that is taking place behind me here in the reactor itself. And I don't mean just in the reactor hole, I mean right next to the reactor core. Our goal is to bring the radiation from the core to the experiments. And we have what we call beam tubes for this. Within Oyster, we want to modify one of the beam tubes to include what we call a new experiment, which is the cold neutron source. So we need to modify the beam tubes. And this is a rather big issue for us because these are part of our water basin, of our water pool, the wall of this. So the modification of this has to be very well done. This is a cut through of the, of the reactor pool. So this whole thing on, on the left side, eight meters long nearly, is what's called the in-pool assembly. And we're modifying only this 50 centimeters here at the bottom. But this is where the core normally is. So this is where the high radiation field is. This facility has been working for 60 years. In 60 years, the material has changed. I mean, it's, it's aging. It's also nuclear radiation, which does things. We encounter stuff that's we didn't think of before. And dealing with this, it's, it's always hey, first thing first, can the people work safely? Yes, then we go on. If we cannot work safely, we go out, we think of a solution. We think of a solution, we make the solution, we go further. But sometimes if you have to make a solution, yeah, that takes time. So we, we've tried to plan this, we've tried to practice this, but you practice with a dummy that is made yesterday, not 60 years ago. So you cannot always find all the things that happen. key element, and then we're talking mechanically, component-wise, for me, is actually the ceiling. The beam tubes have two parts. One part is the part that sticks into the pool, and the other part is the part that's inside the concrete. And those two, where those two meet, we have to have a watertight seal. And what we have now is going to be basically a seal ring that's looking like this. But what is so special about it is it's a metal seal ring. And it needs to be metal, because close to the reactor core, any rubber will basically disintegrate within a month. So this is a metal seal that we will basically clamp between two flanges. And this needs to be clamped very properly with the right pressure, with the right modifications of the surfaces here. And if that's done, then we basically we have guaranteed for the next 20, 30 years a proper watertight seal. But to get this one in place, to have this one engineered, it's been discussions of years to get this in a proper, done way. It's been a challenge, it's been a fun challenge, but it's also, it's, it's I think, a once in a lifetime opportunity to work here and do this. We designed it to be working for the next 20 years. So for us, it's hopefully turning it on every week and making sure that it stays the same way and then just enjoy our cold neutrons. <laughs>